I'm hungry. What's for dinner tonight? What's with you all of a sudden? I was going to make pasta today, but I have to work late. Huh? Working late again? It's my job. There's nothing I can do about it. You're always making excuses for work, work, work. I bet you don't cook half the month. Not only cooking, but housework too. Don't be rude. I do all the housework. It's because you don't do anything. Huh? Well, excuse me for being so useless. So, what am I supposed to eat today? There's leftovers from yesterday in the fridge. There's prepared food in the freezer, so you can eat whatever you want. What's that? How could you treat your husband like this? I'm not doing anything wrong. If I could go home, I would, but I have work. If I don't work, we can't make a living. Are you trying to say that my income is low? I didn't say that. I'm saying that we have to work together as a couple. Yes, yes, I understand. I can take care of myself, okay? It's too much trouble to go home and eat dinner alone. I'll just go out and get something to eat. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. I'll do my best to get home as soon as possible. My adorable sweetheart. What? What's up with you all of a sudden? I always call you that, don't I? What? Are you drunk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After work, my co-workers and I decided to go out for a drink. We talked a lot and the drinks just kept on coming. I'm in a great mood. I'm in a happy mood, so I texted you. You drank a lot in a short time. I'm not saying I've been drinking. I'm saying I've been made to drink. Sorry about yesterday. What? I was supposed to go on a date with you, but it didn't work out. My wife said she made my favorite food and insisted me to come home. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Make it up to me? What are you going to do? What do you want, sweetheart? I'll make your wish come true. Really? Then can I ask you to buy me a luxury brand bag? If that's what you want, sure. But please do it within the budget. What if I tell you I want a new bed? Oh, that's great. I can sleep with you too. That'll be great. Oh, or maybe we could go on a trip together. How about a night at a luxury hotel? Yeah? Why a luxury hotel? It's got a course menu and a luxurious spa, and we can go shopping in the hotel. I think it would fulfill all of your wishes. And then, what are we going to do? What about the night? You don't have to ask me that. I know what I'm going to do. We can sleep in the same bed. Well... Oh, I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to it. That's why I want to see you right now. Since I didn't get to see you yesterday, maybe I should go to your house now. That's not a good idea. Your wife would get mad at you, right? My wife? I don't care about that. Of course you are more important. I'm not interested in my wife. Really? Why not? Because she's old, and you are more attractive. She's a workaholic. She's not even cute. She got chubby after marriage. It'll be embarrassing to be with her. Is that so? Then why don't you leave her? I married her for her money. She works hard like crazy. She makes a lot of money, so I can have a good life. I see. If it wasn't for money... I'd have divorced her in a second. Money is the only thing that attracts me to her. But isn't she working hard for you? That's not true. I think she loves her job. So I'll have her work hard and give me an allowance. Is that so? And I think I'm in love with you, Ashley. You're the most attractive and you satisfy me. 
I really need you. I see. So, can I come over today? What do you mean? I'd fly there right now for you, Ash. I miss you so much. When was the last time you were here? Hmm. I stayed there three days ago, right? I'd like to see you every day if I could. Thanks, but you're married. I think you should go home, okay? Ashley, what's wrong with you? You always accept me right away, don't you? Yeah, but that's cheating, right? It's not cheating. I really love you, sweetheart. You know how I feel. Well, well then, if you want to divorce your wife, fine. Divorce? Yeah, if you divorce her, that will be great. Then I will. I'm getting a divorce. Are you sure? You're not lying? I'm not lying. I'm serious. You are? Yeah, yeah. I'm divorcing her. If you're divorcing your wife, fine. Okay. I'll be there later. I hope you're waiting for me in your underwear. <laughs> Amy, I suddenly have to go on a business trip. What? I got into trouble with a client. You got in trouble? Yeah, it wasn't me that got into trouble. It was a junior colleague. My boss decided it would be better if I went with them to apologize. So I'm going with them. I see. It's tough and it's not even your fault. It'll probably be about four days. That long? Even you're just going to apologize? Besides taking care of the trouble, I have a business meeting with a different client. My boss gave me an order to go along with him. He expects a lot from me, you know. It's a lot of work, isn't it? Are you going to L.A.? Yes, I am. Why? No, it seems like a big job, so I just thought maybe L.A. You have good intuition. I love L.A. I wish I could go with you. Don't be stupid. I'm not going there for fun. I'm going there with a big responsibility. But isn't four days a long time? Normally, if there's a problem, you'd solve it at once and report it to the company the same day, right? Maybe that's the case at your company. I told you I have other big responsibilities. I've never had to go on a business trip before. What's with that tone? Are you accusing me of something? How many years do you think I've been working? I've grown up in my own way. I see. So where are you going to stay? I'm going to ask one of my clients to recommend a nice and expensive hotel. I see. What personal items are you bringing on your business trip? I haven't prepared anything. I can take care of that on my own. It's work. So at least I can just buy what I need there. I understand. If it's work, you have to go. And you know what? I don't think I'll be able to contact you for four days. After all, it's my guy's troubleshooting, so it'll be serious. If we upset our clients, we'll be in big trouble. I'm going to turn off my phone. Is that so? I've got a very busy day ahead of me. Just in time. Don't worry about it. I see. I'm glad my business trip coincided with just the right time. Me too. Amy. Amy, are you awake? Answer me. Oh, good morning. What's wrong? What's wrong? I'm home and I can't get in. Open the door. What house? What the heck are you talking about? The house where we are living. Was there ever a house for you? Huh? How long are you going to joke around? I don't have time for this. Just open the door. I bought that house, so it's not your house. Did you forget? Huh? I have been living here all this time, haven't I? What are you talking about? Even though you bought it, it's also my house because we're married. What are you talking about? You see, it's not part of the property division if you bought it before you were married. 
So it's not your house. Oh, you are such a pain in the neck. I don't care whose house it is. Just open it up. Did you just get back from your business trip? Back in the morning? Yeah, I just got back from a business trip. It's work, you know. I wonder if it's possible to go home in the morning from work. So, how was L.A.? Did you have a good time? You know, how could I enjoy it because it's work? I just went back and forth from the office to the hotel. Yeah, why didn't you just go have fun? You stayed at a luxurious hotel. What a waste. Why would I stay at a luxury hotel when I'm on business? Stop joking around. Just unlock the door. I can't do that. Hey, how long are you going to keep screwing around? I'm serious. I'm getting angry. I can't even unlock that house. Huh? What do you mean? I'm selling that house, so I gave it up to the real estate agent who's going to take care of it. So they could have changed the locks right away. Anyway, I think the real estate company is taking care of it now. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm selling the house. I mean, four days was a lot of moving and paperwork. The place isn't too bad, so I'm sure it'll sell in the near future. Are you serious? Of course I am. You can't open the door, can you? The house is too big for one person to live. With the money from the sale, I'll be able to live without any problems for the time being. I've decided to take the plunge and sell it. I never heard you say anything about that. Why are you doing such a selfish thing? I bought the house in my name, so it's up to me what I do with it, isn't it? I don't understand. But anyway, I have to get to the office as soon as possible. What about my clothes? In the first place, you were supposed to come home yesterday, right? This happened because you left in the morning. It's not like I have a choice. It's my job. If it was work, you would have packed your work clothes, right? Why don't you just wear what's in your suitcase anyway? I can't wear the same thing for days. Yeah, a polo shirt, chinos, and sneakers. It's not really business attire, is it? What? How do you know? Because I did all the housework by myself, you know. I can easily tell which clothes you took. Don't underestimate a housewife. Whatever. Anyway, unlock the door. Seriously, I'm late for work. I've been telling you for a while now. I can't open that house anymore. The nameplate on the front door, it's gone, right? Oh, yes indeed, it's gone. Right? I've already moved out and given it to the real estate agency. What? Where did you move? I can't tell you that. I asked the real estate company to find me a good place. What do you mean? What happened to my stuff? Don't tell me you threw it out. Oh, about your stuff? I sent it to your parents' house. Huh? My parents' house? Yes. I told them what happened and showed them the proof. So your parents agreed with everything. What do you mean? What proof? You once drunkenly texted someone when I had to work late, didn't you? Yes, I did. You sent it to me by mistake. What? What do you mean? Sweetheart, right? You... How did you get that? You texted to the wrong person. <laughs> what? You weren't interested in me at all, so you didn't notice anything. Like, I'm going to Ashley's today. I'm going to make up for not being able to go on a date with you. I'm divorcing my wife. I married her for the money. If it wasn't for the money, I would have divorced her right away. Oh... Her name was Ashley, and you call her Ash. It was easy to identify her because you even included her nickname. You're kidding, right? Did I send that message? Yes, you did. You really didn't notice? No way. Besides, I got a sneak peek at your phone when you were sleeping after you came back from that sleepover. Huh? 
You did that? I was very nervous indeed. That's illegal. You were in deep sleep, so you didn't notice at all. I opened your phone and the pictures came out, and out, and out, and out, of you guys eating ice cream together, sitting in a park bench. There was one where you were bathing together, cuddling in bed. Your texts and these pictures are the proof. And you showed them all to my parents? Yes, I did. Because they would be surprised if I suddenly sent them a huge package, right? That's why I talked to them well in advance. Your father was furious and your mother was crying on the phone. I feel so sorry for them. You're such a... You're really a bad person. I don't want to be told by you. Now I'm totally late for work today. Worst day ever. I don't care if it's the worst day of your life. Just make sure you show up for work. I sent you divorce papers and a demand for alimony by content certified mail, so... Huh? Divorce? What do you mean? What? You know what I've been talking about, don't you? You never said anything about divorce. Well, you said so yourself. You said you were leaving me. That's why I gave you what you wanted. I was a wonderful wife to the end, wasn't I? Hurry up and sign the divorce papers. Wait a minute. Why divorce? And why did you send it to work? You know the reason better than anyone. Besides, you said you couldn't be reached due to work for four days. I was in a hurry too, so I mailed the whole package to your office. You'll see them today, right? You... Don't be silly. How do you think I'm going to look to people at work? I don't care anything about that. It's what you wanted, right? And of all people, you want me to go to work dressed like this? I don't care about that either. You could have come home last night ready to go as planned. It's your own fault, isn't it? Why don't you ask Ash for help? What kind of person are you? You have no right to complain to me, because you're the one who betrayed me. I've saved all the photos and text messages for proof. I don't think there's anything you can do about it now. Oh no, I'm in big trouble. You made a mistake in sending the message, and that's why I'm going through with a divorce. I'm very grateful for that. I knew you were going to be traveling, so that made it easier for me to move forward with a divorce. After you left, I moved and got the real estate paperwork done. I even took a paid vacation. It was a very busy time. Without consulting me, why did you do this? Why? You said you would stay at Ashley's if you divorced. You said you'd be happy to do it. That's what made me make up my mind. That's because I was drunk, right? Not too much to say when you're drunk, is it? But you promised me a divorce. That's... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. In case you're wondering, I called the company and you even lied about the business trip, right? You promised Ash a trip. You even took a paid day off to have fun with her, didn't you? At a luxury hotel. I know you're skeptical, but it's really a business trip. I voluntarily went to L.A. to negotiate a deal with the client. And yet you stayed at a luxury hotel? If you went on a business trip at your own expense, how could that be true? Besides, did you forget that I work for a tour company? No, I mean... You were the one who told Ashley to stay at the luxurious high-class hotel. You said you work for a tour company, but you work in an office. You have no idea where I stayed. When you work for a tour company for a long time, you develop a network of business partners. What? The local staff was kind enough to send me a picture of you too. You're stupid, aren't you? You booked the room under your real name so I could look you up right away. Well, that was convenient for me. I didn't know you could do that. Only for you, of course. You enjoyed a course meal at the hotel's restaurant. You went sightseeing during the day and then went shopping after that. In addition, 
you stayed in a very expensive room, didn't you? That room is popular among newlyweds, isn't it? And I heard you said you wanted to commemorate your first year of dating. Oh my God, I can't believe you did that. You're a dirty person. Which one of us is dirty? You cheated on your wife for a year. That's disgusting to hear. Thanks to you, I have more evidence, and I'm grateful for that. Oh, no. Yes, yes. I've made sure to charge alimony from Ashley, too. You're kidding, right? You're going to get her in trouble. I don't care. She deserves it. She works in the same company as you, right? I couldn't find out her home address, so I had the invoice sent to the company as well. Seriously? The whole company would know. You, what a mess you've made. So you'd better get to work. Go to work dressed as you are. I've sent the documents to your boss to make sure you get them. Huh? I called your company to ask where I should send the documents, and your boss said he would take care of it. It would be rude to send them to the wrong person, wouldn't it? Hey, Amy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything I've done. I'm not divorcing you. Really? But I'm really going to get a divorce, so don't apologize. We're going to be strangers anyway. Oh, no. Will you please reconsider? I'll work hard and take care of you. No, that's not necessary, as long as you pay me alimony. I'm sorry. I won't cheat on you anymore. It's okay. As long as you divorce me, I'll let you be with whoever you want to be with. Amy, don't say that. I have worked very hard. I worked a lot of overtime to make up for your low income. Even when I came home tired, I worked on the housework without a break. On my days off, I never complained about you going out to drink. I worked hard to do the housework that I couldn't do on weekdays. Have you ever thanked me for that even once? Amy. What's the point of being married if you're just going to make it hard for yourself? I'm fed up with you. Don't say that. Just give me one more chance, please. I don't know what my parents will say about this. I'm sorry about your parents, but it's not my problem anymore. Why don't you and your parents just decide what to do from now on? Amy, please. Anyway, don't get involved with me again. At least come with me to the office one last time. What am I supposed to look like when I go to work? I don't care. I told you it's none of my business anymore. Oh no. What the heck am I supposed to do? After that, Tom went to work in a white shirt and chinos, his traveling style. His boss, who had mostly been told about the situation by me, scolded him, and Tom's face turned pale, and he couldn't even say anything. As word of the affair spread throughout the company, Ashley left the company early and has not been seen since. After that, it seems she disappeared. Did she have somewhere else to go? Tom's affair was exposed and Ashley ran away. He resigned from the company because he couldn't stand the cold stares from those around him anymore. He had no place to live. His parents coldly rejected him and he even lost his job. He is now living by working part-time while moving from one friend's house to another. Incidentally, his parents have paid the alimony on his behalf, so I have the money in savings. I don't care what happens to him in the future. I am enjoying my single life, having found a nice apartment near my office. If I ever get remarried in the future, I would consider buying a house again. I have a question for you. Duana, please answer me. What's with all the luggage in our house? Don't you know? That's my luggage. What do you mean? You really don't know about that? I forgot to tell you. I'm moving in with you guys. Are you kidding me? I haven't heard anything about that. We haven't done any preparation. 
Does Daniel know about this? I'm not sure. Are you telling me that you didn't tell Daniel? He's my only son. I don't think he'll refuse. I'm sure he won't complain. Wait a minute. I'll call Daniel. He's out right now. I don't think you need to call him. What a paranoid wife you are. Why can't you decide on your own? I wonder why my son chose a woman like you as his wife. I don't think you're capable to support him in the future. We just got back from our honeymoon trip. We haven't even unpacked our own stuff yet. If you send us your furniture out of the blue, it's a great trouble for us. You've been yammering on and on since a minute ago. You have an empty room, right? Why don't you just put all your stuff there? There are so much furniture. I can't do it by myself. All of this won't fit into that small room. I don't want to hear your excuses. So, what did you buy as souvenirs for me? Don't tell me you didn't buy anything. Oh, I've bought you some chocolates, tea, and... What boring souvenirs! I can't believe you can't even buy me decent stuff. Normally, you'd buy something luxurious like bags or wallets. It's an overseas trip anyway. I'm sorry, I couldn't afford to buy luxurious stuff. That's why I'm worried about Daniel. I guess I was right to come to your place after all. Are you taking care of the house? I'll set an example for you so you can learn from me. I wanted to do it when you and Daniel were away for your honeymoon trip so that you won't find out. I think I made the right decision. What? Wait a minute. Daniel, we're in trouble. I need your help. What's wrong? I just left the dry cleaners. I got your suit. Thanks for that. Anyway, your mother's luggage just arrived at her house. She said that she's moving in with us today. All this furniture and stuff are inside our house. She shipped her stuff to our house when we were on our honeymoon trip. No way. Are you kidding me? I didn't hear anything about mom moving in with us. She is serious about that. What should I do? Your mother will be here soon. You're gonna have to say no to her. I definitely don't want her to move in with us. I thought you'd say that, but... My parents' apartment has been sold. The new tenant is moving on next weekend. This isn't going to be easy. Oh, gosh. Mom is too selfish that she just decided without consulting me in advance. That's why I don't like her. Now that we're about to start our lives together as a married couple, she's moving in. Oh, give me a break. If she says that she has nowhere to go, I can't just let her sleep on the street. What should we do then? She's completely on top of us now. That's her strategy. She did everything secretly, so we can't get away from her. Mom is a scary woman. She said she'll do the housework for us. I'm grateful for that since we're both working. That's just too good to be true. I don't think she'll do housework seriously. But... Don't you think that it's a great help? It'll make it easier for me to come back to work after having a baby. Honestly, I'm inclined to rely on her a bit. Are you insane? Mom is a difficult person, you know that. I don't think I'd be comfortable with her moving in. I think we should just refuse her. Our parents are divorced, right? You were raised by your mother, while I was raised by my father. They took good care of us. Maybe that's why I can't refuse your mother. I want more affection too. I know that you must be longing for your mother. But I don't think that mom is a good mother. I'm sorry. Please don't apologize because it's not your fault. I guess we'll have to live together with her for the time being. I'll do my best. Thanks for getting married to me, Amelia. But... If you ever get tired of everything, just let me know. I'll do something about it. You're the best for me, you know that. 
Thank you, Daniel. Duana, I'm leaving now. Do you need anything? I'm fine. What about Daniel? Is he going to be late? Didn't he call you? He's working late today. I see. If it's just the two of us, we just have to eat out. If Daniel isn't here, there's no need to cook. Your treat, of course. What? Eating out again? Shut up! I'm busy too. You know about that, don't you? I know that you're working part-time, so I don't blame you. I have to give in where I can. I forgot to tell you about this. I quit my part-time job yesterday. I thought, I'll just concentrate on the housework. Oh, really? Are you sure about that? $1,000 for food and wages of doing the housework. You'll pay me every month, right? I'm taking care of everything for both of you. $1,000? Isn't that too much? You don't even pay for your rent. Our household expenses are too high recently. I quit my job for you guys. That's a small price to pay, isn't it? You're both working, so don't be stingy. I understand. Duana, I'm coming home now. Do you want me to buy you anything? No, thank you. I just called the food delivery for today's meal. Delivery again? You've been doing that every day this week. Please take care of the housework a little better. That was the deal, wasn't it? Shut up! I'm busy too! Busy with what? You quit your part-time job to focus on the housework, didn't you? Me and Daniel are the ones who pay for the food delivery. It's too expensive. We can't afford it anymore. I'll cook today. Don't screw it up, okay? Make me something I can eat. If I'm the one who's doing the housework after all, I don't have to pay you $1,000, right? Huh? No, you can't do that. It's what we agreed to in the beginning, wasn't it? You've been doing online shopping most of the time since you quit your part-time job. You're wasting our $1,000. We're not going to pay for that anymore. We'll go bankrupt if we keep doing that. You're so bossy for a wife, you know that? Living with a failure like you? Causing my stress to pile up? Shopping is my way of releasing stress, so don't you dare to stop me. Please, stop it. I'm having stress too because of your behavior. The house is getting more cramped than before, and the money me and Daniel worked so hard to earn is disappearing for no reason. Then, let me reduce the fee to $500 per month. What? What do you mean? I'll do the housework. You only have to pay me $500. Are you sure that you'll do the housework properly? No more eating out and more delivery, okay? I'm a former housewife. There's no reason I can't do the housework. Just wait and see. Got it. That's a promise, okay? Duana, can I ask you something? Are you possibly in debt? I have a bad feeling about this. What are you talking about? Please don't hide it anymore. You have a debt of $10,000, right? That's why you can't even live at your family house anymore. How do you know about that? I just got a call from the loan company. I don't know how they got my number, but they just called me. I think it's a prank. I know that some people play pranks by calling random phone numbers. I knew that you have received a warning letter for your late payment, but I didn't know the exact amount of your debts. Oh, you knew about that? You should have told me from the beginning. There's something else you're hiding, right? I know a lot about your evil deeds. You made purchases with my credit card, didn't you? What do you mean? I didn't do that. Please. Stop lying. Daniel knows about this too. We both secretly got up in the middle of the night, then we kept an eye on you. 
I was just sleepwalking because I don't remember what I did at all. Stop pretending as if you knew nothing about it, Duana. I can't give money to someone who has a habit of spending it like crazy. I won't pay you $500 anymore. Did I make myself clear? Huh? Why? I'm using your $500 to pay off my debt. You can't just abandon me like that. I'm Daniel's mother. If his mother is in trouble, it's natural for him to help me, right? I will save the $500 to pay for my child's upbringing. For your information, I'm pregnant. What? I didn't know about that. It's your choice to get pregnant. You must pay me $500. I don't want to. I treated you as if you were my own daughter. You're worthless if you can't earn money. I didn't expect that you could say such a horrible thing to me. Then get out of my house. I don't have a duty to help you. I don't think Daniel will let you do that. I'm his mother, remember? You know what? From a while ago, Daniel told me to get you out of the house. Looks like he's fed up with you too. I can't believe that. He was the one who agreed for me to move in. Daniel accepted you to move in with us because I persuaded him to do so. He didn't agree in the first place. What? Wait a minute. You can't kick me out of the house now. I still have unpaid debts. I don't care about that. You're free to go on your own. You're a heartless person. Don't be so cold. If you're going to kick me out, lend me money now. Why should I do that? Don't you have some savings for the kids or something? I just need to borrow some of that. I'll pay you back later. I'm so stunned, I can't even say anything. Just get out of here, okay? Me and Daniel have nothing to do with you anymore. We are family, aren't we? Please, let me stay. You are just a parasite who uses your own son to pay for your debts. What on earth did you spend the money on? You had money from selling the apartment too, right? I don't trust you anymore. Don't say that, okay? Please, let me stay with you and Daniel. I refuse. I don't want you here. It's bad for my baby too. I don't want the baby to see you. I'm sorry. I swear, I'll take better care of you and Daniel. I've had enough of your lies. If you can't take care of your own family, please, live alone for the rest of your life. I beg you, please don't abandon me. I admit that I was wrong. It's too late for you to change my mind now. I don't even want to see your face. I want you to leave as soon as possible. As you see, I'm begging you. I'll do anything you want me to. Please don't contact me ever again. Goodbye. Of course, we kicked my mother-in-law out of our house. But then, her debt grew to $30,000. I don't know anything about her way of thinking. She found out about where we live and came to our new house. She demanded us to pay her debt on behalf of her. We had no choice but to call the police. After receiving a warning for threatening, my mother-in-law has stopped coming to our house. Now she is trying to pay off her debts alone. She works at a supermarket during the day and as a cleaner at a hotel at night. She lives on the run and hides from the loan company. It is a fate she deserves. After that incident, I began to cherish my family more than ever. We are now living happy and peaceful days together. My name is Mary, and I'm a newlywed. I got married six months ago. I live with my husband, Kevin. I've been having a little trouble lately. My mother-in-law has been telling me that she wants grandchildren as soon as possible. Of course, I would like to have a child, but I'm not in a hurry for that. My husband and I decided to think about it after we had saved up some money for the child's education. Then... My mother-in-law texted me again today. Good evening, Mary. Thank you for the gift you brought me the other day. 
Good evening, Jamisha. My pleasure. I'm glad that you liked it. It was very delicious. My husband likes sweets too, so he enjoyed it. I heard you both like sweets, so I decided to buy it. It has been a long time since the last time you and Kevin went for a trip after marriage, right? Did you have a good time? Yes, we did. Kevin's work was settled down, so we decided to go. That boy is a workaholic. He's working hard for our family, and I'm thankful for that. Thanks to him that we can live in peace. Well, you're right. That's my son, and I'm proud of him. Yes, I know. How was your trip? Our trip? We had a relaxing time at the spa. We were talking about how nice it would be if we could go with you next time. That's great. But there's something else, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. That's what I always say. I don't mean to play dumb, but... You haven't been away from home since you got married. There are things to do at night. What do you mean? You know what I'm talking about. Do you want me to tell you in details? Maybe at home, you don't do it sometimes. But when you're on vacation, of course you'll do it. It makes you feel good, right? Just because we were traveling, it doesn't mean that we'll do that thing. Why not? Both of you are still young. Do we have to continue this conversation? I think it's a bit vulgar. I'm Kevin's mother, so I have the right to ask. We didn't do the so-called night activity when we traveled. Why not? We did a lot of walking during the trip. We went back to the inn, took a hot bath, and after a few drinks, we both got sleepy. Kevin was busy with work until that day, so both of us were exhausted. I can't believe it. I told you that I can't wait to see my grandchildren, didn't I? Yes, I understand how you feel. But me and Kevin have only been married for six months. So we decided to wait a little longer to have kids. Could you wait patiently? What are you talking about? I want to keep working at my current company. And we also need to think about the money for the child's education and so on. You're a woman! So you should quit your job. As my son's wife, it's your job to give birth and take care of your child. I want to have children eventually, but for now, I want to concentrate on my job. Don't you dare to talk back to me like that. My relatives and friends already have their grandchildren. I'm the one who's embarrassed because I still don't have any. What's the point of you working? You don't make much money anyway. I'm not saying that we won't have children. I just want you to wait a little longer. Are you sure that Kevin isn't bored with you? Why do you ask that? It's not like he hasn't asked you to do that at night, is it? It's impossible that you haven't done that in six months of your marriage. It's not like that. I didn't say that we didn't do it at all, right? Really? You always wear trousers and not putting much makeup. So I don't think Kevin sees you as a woman. I guess you're not attractive enough as a woman. No, you're wrong. Kevin loves me. Then why can't both of you have a baby? I told you that it's not the right time for us. You're doing everything right, but you can't have a baby. Don't tell me that you're incapable of having children. I don't think so. Anyway, I'm on birth control now, so I can't have kids. You're using contraception to hide the fact that you can't have children. You deceived Kevin. Please, calm down, Jamisha. I didn't deceive anyone. If you can't have children, Kevin wouldn't have taken you as his wife. But that's for Kevin to decide, isn't it? He loves me. No matter what he says... I don't want my son to have a wife like you. Please don't say that. At any rate, it's not like your body can't have children, right? Yes, I think I'll be fine. You think, huh? 
Then prove it to me. What do you mean by that? You need to show me the proof that you can have children. Otherwise, I won't be able to sleep at night worrying about it. But how can I prove it? It's simple. You just have to make sure you can have a baby. What? I don't think I understand. I'm telling you to have physical relations with someone other than Kevin. Are you kidding me? What you're saying is incoherent. It doesn't matter. Only you and me know about this so Kevin won't find out. Are you telling me that you want me to have an affair? I can't do that because I love Kevin from the bottom of my heart. I'm not talking about having an affair. I'm just asking you to have some sort of one-night stand with another guy. That would be adultery. Please stop talking about crazy things like that. Kevin and you don't see each other regularly because of work, so he'll never find out. I'll keep it a secret from him too, so don't worry about that. I can't do that. Then how will you prove to me that you can have children? You'll find out when me and Kevin have a child. I'm telling you because I can't wait for that any longer. Are you bullying me by making me wait so long? That's not true. You need to wait a little longer, but we'll make sure that you'll be able to see your grandchildren in the future. I told you, I can't wait anymore. Go for a one-night stand with some random guy as soon as you can. If you want to, I'll go find one for you. I told you, I can't do that. Besides, what will you do if I get pregnant with that random guy's baby? You just need to have an abortion. If it's not Kevin's... Then what's the point of giving birth to that baby? Please don't mention about abortion easily. I'm a human being with flesh and blood. I'll pay for your abortion. That's not the point. Then what's your problem? You don't want to have a baby with someone other than Kevin, do you? Of course not. Besides, I don't want to deal with any guy other than Kevin. You're not a child, so don't be selfish. Shut up and give it a try. This is not selfishness. I just want to see my grandchildren. Do you enjoy tormenting me so much? As I said before, I'm not tormenting you. This is harassment. Did I do something that upset you? Do you hate me so much? You treat me very well and I have no complaints about you. I just think that you should wait a little longer to see your grandchildren. Stop telling me what to do. I've waited for six months. You still want me to wait? It's only been six months. Six months is enough. You can't keep doing that stupid job. Do what you're supposed to do. As I told you when I got married to Kevin, I feel that my job is worthwhile. So I can't just quit so easily. I know that I'll regret it for the rest of my life if I quit my job. You're not doing your duty as a woman. All you have to do is shut up and listen to me. I'll talk to some young boys. Stop it, please. I'll never betray Kevin. I don't care what you say. It's already been decided. Give me a break, Jamisha. Do you know what will happen to you if you dare to talk to me like that? No matter how many times I tell you, you don't seem to understand. I'll tell Kevin everything about what happened. What are you talking about? I told you not to tell Kevin, didn't I? Then I'll listen to Kevin's opinion and make a decision. If he agrees, I'll think about your suggestion. Mary, don't do that. Kevin will get angry with me. Why? You were just trying to help me, right? My pregnancy is important to Kevin, too. I just want to see my grandchild's face as soon as possible. That's why I said I need to talk to Kevin about it. If Kevin finds out about this, he'll hate me. Okay, let's pretend that you came up with the idea. Huh? What are you talking about? I can't tell a lie like that. Tell Kevin that you wanted to have a baby so badly that you came up with that idea. 
I was against it, but you wouldn't listen to me. Kevin just came home, so I'll show him your messages. Mary, wait! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. I'll wait for my grandchildren for as many years as you want. Please, don't let Kevin know about what I told you. I'll talk to Kevin and get back to you later. Wait, Mary, don't do that! I was just being mean to you because you told me to wait a little longer until I see my grandchildren. Please, listen to me! I ignored the incoming call from Jamisha. Then I showed the messages to my husband right after that. Of course, my husband was furious. He called his mother immediately and talked to his father afterwards. His father-in-law didn't know about this story at all, so Jamisha was severely scolded by him too. She deserves that after what she said to me. My husband told Jamisha that he doesn't want to see her face for a while. Jamisha sent a message to me asking me to persuade Kevin. When my husband found out about the messages his mother sent me, he got even angrier. A year later, our child was born, but my mother-in-law hasn't met the baby. I still don't want her to see my child. She seems very remorseful and has been apologizing to me by her messages and calls. So I'm planning to visit her next time when everything settles down. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. It means a lot to us. See you next time.